This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. In this segment, I want to talk about the Second Amendment, specifically our right to carry firearms to defend ourselves. Now, for those of you who are new to the show or have never read one of my newsletters, I want to be very, very clear. I support the Second Amendment and our right to own and carry a firearm for our self-defense. Now, I understand that the original intention of the Second Amendment was to provide the citizens of this country the ability to defend themselves against a tyrannical government. The reality, though, is that we now need to apply this right in order to ensure our individual personal safety. I have no gripes with the efforts of our police forces. Most do their job extremely well, but their ability to deter violent crime is limited. Their job is to respond to events, not prevent possible events. I, for one, don't want a police force that works like the one in the movie Minority Report. I believe that we have to take some responsibility, if not most, for preventing ourselves from being a victim. Just like the days of leaving your front door unlocked and leaving your keys in the ignition, that's just long past. Those days are gone. So are the days when we can feel safe and comfortable walking to the corner store after dark. There are far too many predators out there. This is not a scare tactic on my part. This is reality. And we must wrap our brains around it. Let's look at the facts. There are over 2.7 million violent crimes reported every year. That's just the ones that are reported. That includes 16,000 murders, 89,000 forcible rapes, 442,000 robberies, and 835,000 aggravated assaults each year. It's time we realize it is our responsibility to defend ourselves and dissuade potential attackers. We cannot expect, nor do we want, the police to be so pervasive that they can prevent every possible attack. The solution is that we stop being victims. An example of this was a man from Tampa who was taking a late evening run. A young man with violent intentions rushed this jogger and hit him square in the face. The mistake the young assailant made was attacking someone with a concealed carry permit in the state of Florida. Remember, Florida has a stand-your-ground law that provides victims who fear for their safety to be able to use lethal force in their defense. The victim reached into his pocket pulled out his carry weapon, and shot and killed his attacker. This is a clear message to all thugs, muggers, and rapists. We will not be victims. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you like what you've heard here, then go pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Also, check out our website, www.pcsfa.com. Until next time, be safe out there.